some of these questions are fantastic because they, they really help me think, help us think. For example, somebody wants to know, wants to know what is this Dharma stuff? Well, that's a good a good question. What is Dharma? I take it for granted because, uh, you know, I've been using the word and, and seen the word used for 50 years. And so, but not everybody has, and it's a Sanskrit word, and there's not a European word that translates, but it reminds me a bit of, of the word Tao, which people don't understand, right? And they think because they read the Tao of Pooh, right, that they understand it, or that because they watch Dharma and Greg, which I've never seen, maybe it's good, I don't know, but I would guess that Dharma and Greg probably doesn't have a whole lot to do with what this question, all right? So we got to clear away all the extraneous conditioning and associations and this and that. And, and in this case, because it's Sanskrit, uh, I'm going to just look, I looked it up on uh, uh, the AI, and it says, Dharma is a Sanskrit word that refers to a law or principle that governs the universe. Well, that would make it synonymous with, with the Tao, right? Or the great way, or, or, or the, the, uh, the great guide, or however you want to frame that formulation, which is equally ancient. Dharma is a Sanskrit word that refers to a law of principle that governs the universe. It can also mean religion, interesting, duty, interesting, and righteousness. Wow. In Hinduism and Buddhism, Dharma can also mean one, the natural and moral principles that apply to all beings and things, making it very similar to Tao, right? The teachings of the Buddha, okay? The individual's duty fulfilled by observance of custom or law. Well, you know, that's an interesting thing. It's very much out of fashion in the West. The individual's duty fulfilled by observance or custom of custom or law. And, but you could look at this as a, as a, a formula for, for peace of mind, right? So, so although we aren't explicit in the West that you have a, a duty and a responsibility to your fellow humans, besides not to harass them and make their, you know, steal from them and things like, you know, basic stuff. You could argue that we have a certain duty to each other just for peace of mind, right? Because if, if, you, if, you, if you don't know if, if someone's going to break into your house from year to year, you know, if your house is in danger or your car is going to get broken into or things are going to be stolen or, or whatever, you can't really, it's, it's harder to do this work. It's harder to do any work. And it's expensive to be fighting off thieves all the time. And so, you know, this, this is basic stuff that we've forgotten or we've been sabotaged internally uh, as, as, a, as, a, as a way of governing people. Because I, I, it seems to me that we never really gave democracy a chance, uh, at least not in my lifetime. But we, were, we were wholesale lied to by, by our government, not even, which, it's, which precludes any meaningful self-government if you... If you constantly lie to the people about what you're doing, if you're lying about Cambodia, if you're lying about Iraq, if you're lying about, you know, whatever, then uh, the individual's duty uh, to his country becomes confusing at least, right? Or, but, but to one another, Dharma uh, here, they're saying it's, it's something like duty. That's interesting. Didn't know that. And then here they, they, they say that Dharma can also refer to essential qualities or character of the cosmos or one's own nature. So this is sounding more Taoist, frankly, when you strip away everything. Uh, so then we have uh, patience, forgiveness, self-control, non-stealing, cleanliness. These are all aspects of Dharma you know, from, the, from the AI. Now, I'm sure there's infinitely more than that, all right? Dharma can be your practice. Dharma can be your... your your purpose in life. Dharma can be uh, the Dharma, the Sangha, the, the, the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha. You could be one of the, the, the triplex uh, uh, refuges. And so, so it could be the teaching in its entirety, or it could be a specific lesson. So you could say this is Dharma, I suppose. So it's a word like Tao, which, which you could, I wish somebody would. If somebody would spend as much time on Dharma, spend a lifetime on it, right? The way I have on Tao. And you'll, you'll learn things. And words, although they will never be the truth, words will never actually even adequately represent the truth. Um, without distortion, it, it can't happen. It's not, they're not the same category, right? Uh, but if somebody could explore all of the nuances of this beautiful Sanskrit word and, and, and use that as part of their dharma, 
and educate the rest of us, I think that'd be grand. And so, good question. Thank you. And sometimes these basic questions like, what is Dharma? Uh, or, or what is yoga useful for on the way, which I'm going to do next. Uh, these are good questions. They're basic, but they're important. And, and it's easy for us to forget. We, we've had the advantage of all these translations and speaking the language, so on and so forth. We forget that there's others who, who haven't had our advantages. So uh, keep them coming, folks. <laughs>